All right, we're back here. Thursday morning, Master Carver. David's been hard at work. Get a load of this artwork. This is impressive. We're joking around. You know, we're doing our own pumpkins, but this is a work of art. Nice to see you. And how many hours nice goes fun. into the intricate work of this? Well, this is about uh, three hours worth of work so far. Three hours, that's it? Yes. Now, on average, uh, how big are the pumpkins that you guys usually work with? Uh, most of the pumpkins we work with are 75 pounds and above. I'm going to turn this so you can see the... Uh the artwork here. Sorry, 75 pounds is what you said? And above. Yeah, and above. Yeah, yeah. So. And where's the best place to, to, to get the best pumpkins to carve? Well, most of the, most people get garden variety pumpkins, yeah. uh, which is the type that you have here. Mm -hmm. These are called Atlantic Giants, and there's a number of growers in the valley and so on that, that are growing these pumpkins. And I think we have some photos of some of the amazing work that you've done on average. I mean, you spent three hours on this one. Uh, take us through this guy. Uh, how long does it take to come up with some of this? Uh, this werewolf scene actually was carved all the way around. It was about a 300-pound pumpkin. This was about 12 hours worth of work. Unreal. Unreal. And this one here? Uh, it was about three hours. So how do you even approach this? Are you working with a stencil off the get-go, or what's the procedure in getting it to look like Well, that? what I do is I look up uh, research material. You know, there may be something that fits with the, with the way the pumpkin's shaped. Yeah. And then I usually draw it on and then, and then start carving from there. And there's a, there's a big exhibition going on in Metrotown for people that want to see this? Metropolis and Metrotown in the Grand Court, yes. We have a big exhibition of giant pumpkins there. <laughs> How big is this pumpkin? Uh, that's a 500-pound pumpkin. It's a little, well, it's quite a bit smaller than the one I've been working wow. on for the last five days in Metropolis. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're showing all kinds of artwork. Yeah, and that's, there's all uh, the uh, shot of all the pumpkins there. Um, we've, uh, quite a few have gone now, but we've got quite a few still down there. And, yeah. and then we've got the two giants that we're working on. This is fun for people getting in the Halloween spirit. So we're going to put details of that competition, or that exhibition, excuse me, on our website. Now, all of us hosts, have been trying to create the magic yes. that you have. So uh, my task was uh, Justin Bieber. So I'm just going to show you this and uh, perhaps have an official critique. Here is Bieber. I think it's all about the hair. Yeah, the well, he's got a lot of hair there. Yeah. Yep. And uh, what, <laughs> or he's missing a lot of hair, one or the other. Well, what do you think? What do you think overall? Would you guess Bieber if you look? Well, at this? I'm not quite sure whether I guess Bieber. Okay, that, so. but there was effort and thought. Effort yeah, and of thought. Of course, yeah. Thor yeah. Derek, I was ready. Credit for that. I believe he had Ozzy Osbourne as his initial task. <laughs> Head to bail on Ozzy after a while. Sorry about that. No problem. Yeah, I went for the traditional jack o' lantern look. It, it does look a little like Ozzy, but not not really. <laughs> yeah, maybe really in, up there. in his heyday, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. The done. teeth. Hang yeah. on to that one, Doc. Doc's masterpiece is up. I wasn't sure if he'd have enough time to get it done. But he delivers, and let's see the final product. David, your thoughts. Oh, it's a jack-o'-lantern, yeah. yeah. It looks just, Ooh, it's, it's actually quite a good jack-o'-lantern. I think Doc could be in the lead right yes, now. Yeah, he's, unless, he's moving forward. Unless Tubes wows us with something special here well, to close it out. Well, here's the special thing about mine. Mine actually uh, is very unique in that it has a deviated septum. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm really personal there. Mistake? Really personal. No, oh, no, no, that was on yes, purpose. See that? That was on purpose. Oh, yeah, see? That, that does yeah. look like something's I out like there. The eyebrows, yes. though. Did the eyebrows were well, pretty good. Well, that's the thing. I wanted to give a little expression. I didn't want to go with your typical jack o' lantern. I wanted to go with something oh, a little more unique there. A little, a little more expression in it. It's on. So, David, the uh, the clear winner, I think, is? Well, I think we have to go with the jack o' lantern. Oh. oh. You're a traditionalist. You're a traditionalist. Oh, exactly. Nicely done, Mark. Well, I'd just nice. like to thank all my. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we'll check you out at Metrotown uh, Metropolis again, and we'll put the details on our website. Greg Harper has been standing by. There's the details all morning long. <laughs> Fright Nights yeah. at the